We got another bank in the UK that's telling you what you can do with your money. Specifically, hey, you can't buy crypto. We also got the European Central Bank's coming out big flex and on Jerome Powell saying, hey, do you got one of these, Jerome, or are you a little bit smaller? That's right, Jerome's dropping the next rate hike coming out next week. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. And XRP relisting on Coinbase. Even if the judge were to rule in favor of Ripple Labs, well, there's still some hurdles that would have to be cleared. All of that and more coming up next. We've got lots of juicy bits to cover, so let's get into it. Bitcoin's in at 24,750. ETH, 1653, up 1.4%. BNB, the big one on the map right now, making moves. 326, up 7.8% last 24 hours. XRP, though, the highlighted show, up 1% last 24, 36.2 cents. UK bank limits crypto payments to smother fraud or to tell you what to do. Yeah, if it's not the SEC in the United States, it's banks in the UK. NatWest has imposed a daily and 30-day limit on payments from customer accounts to cryptocurrency exchanges in a bid to reduce their exposure to crypto fraud. The UK lender said it would not allow customers to transfer more than £1,000, $1,213 a day, or more than £5,000, $6,066 in a month to exchanges. NatWest claimed that even legitimate cryptocurrency exchanges are used as a stepping stone to make investments in digital money. That's what an exchange is, you fucking morons. Some of which can lead to the loss of significant life-changing sums. Same thing with the racetrack or casinos or strip clubs or sports books. Oh, yeah, but see, all those like are, you know, like regulated by the government. So I think we kind of see what's happening here. Come on. U.S. has got Gary Gensler in the SEC. The U.K., this is now, I believe, the sixth bank, by the way, that I've done a story on that they are taking control and telling you what you can do to your money, specifically focusing on blocking crypto payments completely or having monthly daily limits. Now, let's stick with the European information because don't worry, we're going to talk about XRP relisting on Coinbase. Breaking European Central Bank stick to rate hike of 50 basis points. Will the U.S. Fed continue? That's right, everyone. Hit that subscribe button because Jerome Powell and the Fed will be out. We will be covering that announcement. That will be happening next week. We'll be covering it live, all right? So what happens is this. At 2 p.m. Eastern time, they come out with the rate hike. Then at 2.30, Jerome Powell gets on the mic. Summary of economic projections, though, this time. This is a big meeting coming up with the Fed. Even now, European Central Bank setting the standard, showing that Europe's got the big dong. Big, big, big dong. Tupo coup, tupo coup. Hey, we dropped 50. That's how dedicated to inflation those European central banks are. We've already talked about ad nauseum about the Fed, right? How the Fed's kind of in trouble right now because of the gap, right? Yeah, okay, bond market. You guys know what I'm talking about. As a result of the continued inflation that is far higher than a level that is intended, European Central Bank has been sending signals for some weeks that it had planned to raise interest rates once more at its meeting in March. The preliminary statistics collected in February indicated that headline inflation was 8.5%, which was significantly higher than the goal inflation rate of 2% set by the central bank. So again, well above standards, just like the United States, except they are dealing with it even worse out there. Lawsuit time, everyone. Gossip time. That's right. Well, it's not, it's not really gossip, like if it's citing stuff. But anyways, oh yeah, and really quick, that story about the UK banning um, uh, the limits with crypto, I broke that story earlier on Twitter today, and someone actually shared it with me, so shout out to you out there on uh, crypto Twitter space. So if you want to follow that stuff early, I'll have my Twitter stuff linked in the description below. New lawsuit accuses social media, YouTube influencers of hyping FTX without proper disclosure, a new lawsuit. And now, come on, this happened in November. So we go November to December, December to January, January, February, February to March. We're at four months and we have lawsuits being filed. So my point with this, though, is that the FTX mess, right? The ripple effects from that leading into the XRP transition price talk. Don't worry about it. I'm going to get you guys. And it's not so much price talk. Well, it would be if it was relisted with Coinbase. But the thing with FTX is this. You're going to have waves of liquidity issues that we're dealing with. We're going to have waves of crypto hot potato, someone wanting money from this person, who this person, this person, and you're just going to have people waiting down the line. You're also going to have lawsuits like this. And we know all of these events and bankruptcy filings, all of these events take time. 
FTX is going to be something that's going to be a crypto scar that the industry is going to have to swallow and it's going to take time to digest. Among the influencers are Erica Kahlberg, Ben Armstrong, BitBoy Crypto, also known as BitBoy in Crypto Circles, that's right, and Kevin Pafraff or Meet Kevin on YouTube. The lawsuit alleges that some of the creators, namely Pafraff as well as Graham Stephan and Tom Naft, have now scrubbed their YouTube channels of all video clips endorsing FTX and praising Sam Bankman Free. Now, this is going to set the standard for other lawsuits to be filed regarding other projects, all right? So not just big ones like FTX, but but other names up here on the screen have also scrubbed their channel of some of the bad stuff they've been promoting as well. So we're going to be dealing with lawsuits in the crypto space for a while. All right. All right. So let's swing it on over to the whole lawsuit talk stemming from the SEC going after Ripple Labs XRP, right? On registered securities. Coinbase legal officer outlines the steps for XRP relisting. Paul Grewal, who we watched, by the way, in front of Congress, pretty good guy. Chief legal officer at Coinbase recently outlined conditions in which Coinbase will relist XRP, Ripple's native token. All right, let's listen to it really quick. This was done of courtesy of Thinking Crypto, Tony Edward and Paul Grewal. Relist XRP or a restart trading? It's possible. Um, it would all, of course, depend upon the basis for the ruling, um, the, the judge's legal reasoning, our assessment of whether or not an appeals court would affirm that decision. So, so there you have it. Even if there is a ruling in favor of Ripple Labs regarding XRP unregistered securities action, Coinbase wouldn't relist it right away. They would have to consider, hey, would an appeals court win? So there's still even more that would go into the relisting of XRP from Coinbase. Now, remember, we already had the judge in the LBRY case say, hey, secondary sales, that's that's not securities. Secondary sales is good. Coinbase, you are a secondary seller. Come on now. Now, I think we all know what Coinbase is trying to do here. They're just trying to walk that legal tightrope and still try to run a business that's crypto friendly in the not so crypto friendly United States. The UK, not crypto friendly when it comes to banks, huh? That is crazy now. Time and time again, we're seeing different ways that people are trying to keep us out of crypto. Crazy stuff. European central banks going out there saying, hey, guess what? We've got something pretty big there, Jerome Powell. Do you got one of these? Well, I mean, I do. It's a tripod, so sorry. But yeah, Jerome Powell, is he going to come out with the 50 or 25 basis point hit? Hit that subscribe button down below because we're going to be breaking that news live. Now, this tripod and the fun that I have outside of crypto, that can be found right here on this channel. Check it out. Subscribe to it. It's free. It'll totally help me out with my passion projects and giving me joy and smiles in life. If you want Crypto Web 3 action, well, of course I got you back. Here's a video right here for you. Until more news breaks, I'm going to do more cool stuff with my tripod. You cool cats have a great rest of your day.